The 2018 Giro d'Italia is drawing to a close and I can tell you that the riders are pretty exhausted. We thought we'd ask them what they're really looking forward to eating when they get home at the end of the Giro. After the Giro, what do you want to eat when you go home at the end of the race afterwards? Everything. <laughs> no, big pizza for sure and a good pizza and then I think we go straight away after the Rome stage if you're in Rome but I hope so <laughs> and yeah I think we go to the good restaurant in center of Rome and then everyone order what one he want to eat so for me pizza please what kind of pizza though uh, just simple prosciutto and mozzarella di bufala that's nothing really heavy but yeah just the dust no <laughs> I think um Banana pancakes. Cool. Delicious. It is, it is. And the uh, chopped up with Nutella is absolutely perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's curious. I think the first meal I will take it here in Rome and I'm looking for a pizza. It's, I mean, if you are on the Giro, there is not other food that you have to take it. And then once I home, I don't know, maybe as good as Spanish, some patatas bravas. Of course. And uh, what kind of pizza? Ah. I think the pizza with more calories they have it on the on the menu. Probably burgers. Burgers with sweet potato fries and a beer. That's multiple burgers. How many are you planning on? Ah, uh, just two. Well, actually, my uh, my girlfriend and my kids are coming over to Rome, so uh, promised them pizza and probably I'll have a beer with that again. <laughs> you mean you didn't have pizza and beer yet in Italy? We had we had pizza last rest day and uh, beers I had. So uh, that's the benefit of not uh, doing GC, I reckon. You can. Uh, every now and then uh, enjoy uh, Italian uh, cuisine a bit? Well, it's a good question. I'm a vegan, so I really struggle at the races. I, uh, I always eat the same type of food. There's not much uh, variety here. So I'm um, a big fan of uh, raw cakes. Um, so I definitely have a nice uh, raw cake um, and just some homemade food. You know, I love cooking. Uh, my partner also loves cooking. We actually have battles because we both want to cook. and. Um, a good argument to have though. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I think just not eat too much because we're eating lots and lots of food here. So I'll be just happy to like just uh, even skip a meal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fried eggs with uh, sausage, Spanish sausage, maybe. <laughs> but and, and super big ice cream. Great, that sounds very good. I can understand you're probably craving that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no sé, todo lo que no comemos en este mes, eh, lo que sea, una buena pizza, aunque se la hemos comido el día de descanso, pero un poco de fritura, fritura de, de pescado, esto sí. Yo en capito. Me gustaría, me gustaría mucho, sí. Muy bien. Uh, I don't know, uh, I think I go to burger restaurant, eat some nice burger. <laughs> I really like burger. <laughs> Any particular chain or burger restaurant that you like? Yeah, it's uh, in my hometown. It's really nice there, but for sure I don't need any more pasta for a while. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Right, there you have it. A fairly clear consensus, I think, for pizza or indeed any food that the riders have not been allowed during the Giro. And I can understand race food does get pretty bland after three or four weeks. If you'd like to find out a little bit more about rider nutrition, why not click down here to see a video about nutrition with Asuka Jukendrup. Um, all that talk about pizza has maybe really, really fancy pizza so I think I mean I know I haven't earned it but I think I'm gonna get one for dinner anyway <laughs>